What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to do vertical video inside DaVinci Resolve. Let's get into it. Vertical video is one of those things that can be used for multiple occasions. I myself kind of fought using vertical video for quite a while until I started having clients request that I throw vertical videos in or even have me come out to shoot a vertical video ad for their social media, whether it was TikTok, uh, you know, even YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, whatever it was, these clients were wanting it to be on their feed because they know majority of us are consuming our ads through a vertical format on our phone. So I'm going to teach you guys today how to do this, how to create a vertical video inside DaVinci Resolve. Let's load it up and get going. The first thing we're going to need is media inside DaVinci Resolve. I went on ahead and shot some horizontal video clips and vertical clips of just some things on my shelf. Uh, when you grab a video clip and drop it down in, it's automatically going to create a timeline for whatever you shot it in. I shot all this in 1920 by 1080. We don't need that timeline, so I'm going to get rid of that and I'm actually going to move this timeline out of the way for now. What we need to do is we need to create our own timeline. So I'm going to hit Command N to bring up the timeline you can also right click right here and just hit timelines create new timeline and in this we're actually instead of creating it we're gonna go to use custom settings right here we're gonna click on that and under format the second tab you can see 1920 by 1080 is what it automatically does we are going to reverse these two so we're gonna go 1080 by 1920 we're gonna hit enter and create that, and it's automatically gonna create that vertical video. Of course, you can do this in a 4K if you would like. I don't really see a need to do this in 4K too often, just because majority of us are really consuming about 1080 is really all we're seeing on our phones, if not a little bit less. Maybe in the near future, we'll start seeing more 4K stuff actually on our phones, but for right now, the displays really can't hold that. So we're just gonna stick with the standard HD timeline. I'm gonna grab one of these vertical videos and I am just gonna drop it down in here. You can see that it automatically has it set horizontal. This is something that's pretty common in most editors. And the quickest way to fix this is we're actually gonna go over here under the inspector and under the transform rotation angle. I'm just gonna double click on that and I'm gonna hit 90 and it's automatically gonna make it the vertical that we need the way that I shot it. We can also hover over the zoom and we can just click on that and zoom that up to scale that we would like. That looks pretty good. Now, dependent on the angle you shot your camera, you may have to do 180 minus 90 or 90 on rotation angle. Play around with it and find what works for you. Uh, it kind of just depends on the angle you're shooting and what you need to flip it to. I'm actually gonna grab the other video clip that I shot that's vertical right here, drag it in. We can actually right click on this video clip. We can go to copy. And on a Mac, we can hit Option V or you can right click on it, but I'm just gonna hit Option V and we are going to go to Paste Attributes. I'm gonna make sure all these things are checked that need to be and I'm gonna hit Apply and it's automatically gonna paste it onto the next video clip. That's something that will save you a lot of time, especially if you have multiple video clips. I suggest just throwing them all in your timeline and then just you know pasting it as need be. Uh, it'll save you a lot of time. Within here, we can trim stuff up and kind of make it just look better the way it is. You can lay things out the way you want. I'm not really too concerned because this is an editing tutorial. This is just laying things out and showing you. Now let's say you actually shot video in horizontal. Sometimes when I'm out shooting these videos, the client won't let me know that they want a vertical video ad later uh, until I've finished everything and I'm back in post and editing it. And sometimes that can be a problem, but there is a couple workarounds you can do. Uh, so I have a couple horizontal video clips right here. I'm just gonna drop it in the timeline. Uh, the easiest way we can do this is just go right here under the inspector, transform again, and we are just gonna zoom this up to where we need. And I am gonna grab the position and I'm gonna kind of move it where I think looks good kind of play that through and that looks okay. It's obviously out of focus at that time. The point is, is you can make that work. I've got another video clip right here. Let's drop it down. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna zoom it up right here. 
That looks pretty good. I'm gonna grab the position and I'm gonna have it right there because I want it hugging this corner right here. We're gonna play that through and that actually looks pretty good. But let's say I really want it to stay right in that position. I'm going to click on the diamond next to position at a keyframe at the beginning. I'm gonna scroll to the end and I'm just gonna move this over right about there. It's gonna add another keyframe for me automatically. Now if we play that through, it kinda of keeps it in the position that I want it to. You have to be very careful doing this because it can start to look unnatural pretty quick if you add too many keyframes. It can also become very time consuming. So I do recommend if you have specific product shots that you know you're gonna have in a vertical video, try to shoot those vertical. It'll make things a lot easier. Um, when you're framing stuff up horizontal, you're not thinking about vertical. I understand there are gonna be times that you can't do anything about it, and this is a workaround, but I would really try to double check with the client before you are finished that they're not wanting vertical video or anything like that. The last thing you can do to work around this is let's say we have two video clips, both of these, I'm just gonna hover them on top of each other right here, trim them up. I am going to reset both of these. Now what we can do is we can actually click on the top one, we can zoom it up, let's say, I don't know, that looks pretty good. We're gonna move it up right here and then we're going to click on the bottom one and we are going to do the same thing we're going to scale it up to one point let's just say 600 looks good i'm going to move it down just like that and there you can see that you can actually use horizontal video in a different way if you need to do in a vertical format you could actually get rid of one of these let's say we don't want that bottom one and you want text right here or something whatever you're wanting to do maybe you want this to start there and at the end of the video or in the end of the video clip it hovers down maybe text comes out from behind it whatever you're wanting to do that is another workaround there you go guys that's how you do vertical video inside davinci resolve if you like this video and it helped you out give me a thumbs up I do appreciate it. Drop a comment below. Let me know, have you done vertical video for clients, for even Instagram, for TikTok, whatever you're doing. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. If you guys are new here, consider subscribing with the bell notification on so you don't miss any of my new videos. You guys are amazing. I'm the Iron Giant. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.